Hi everybody, great that you're back. Um, today we have a look at the newest version of the Garmin firmware. It's the 9.95, which is the beta version at the moment, so it's not rolled out to everybody. You can install it to your watch, but you have to do it on your own. Um, I installed it because this version brings a sleep widget finally. So before the Phoenix 6 was able to um, record your sleep, but you couldn't see it on your watch. So you had to synchronize the data with the app or with the web app, and then you could see the sleep data in your app. But now Garmin added a sleep widget and it works together with first beat. Um, the Phoenix 6 series has already a lot of first beat features on the watch, like the yeah, training peaks and VO2 max and all this stuff. Uh, it has 18 tra um, first beat features on the watch and the sleep feature is now um, on the watch too. And I really do like the feature. I think, I personally think it is, it has gotten a little bit more accurate because um, it hits my, uh, when I, when I, when I start to sleep and when I wake up more precise and I even have more deep sleep phases, which I had hardly any of them before. So I think there is a different uh, algorithm there to, to calculate this and I like it. So if, if you have the beta version installed, you go to your widgets. You can see here already on my watch, the sleep widget is already there. If it is not there, you just go down and you just add it. So now, as you see, it's, it's here on my watch. So last night I slept quite a lot. So eight hours, 47 minutes, and then I get a score here of 85. It ranks from zero to 100, how good your sleep is. But you can even get more information. If you hit the start button, it gives you a little more precise um, analysis of this sleep. So it's, um, it says my sleep quality was good. I have a 85% score here and I have a long and refreshing sleep. Of course, eight hours, 47 minutes should be long and refreshing. And if you use the up and down buttons, you can see, um, the normal look, which you're used to from, from the Garmin app. Um, and down here you can see when you when I went to bed and when I got up this morning you can see the different phases sleep phases here with with um, awake light REM and deep sleep and if I push the button again I can see the sleep circle here with the different phases and I can see the split up in the different um, yeah deep light or REM phases I was awake 18 minutes and then I even get a little more um, information about my sleep. So I had a pretty good sleep and which was good for concentration and all this stuff. And um, yeah, then I, now you can check all this data on your watch, which I think is a pretty cool thing. And I really like the, the more precise analysis here so that I can see, you know, I don't know how much REM sleep or deep sleep is good or what what does it to my body. So here you get more information and it helps you to 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 read these figures better than before, because the Garmin um, an analysis was just you know the time you were asleep and the different phases, but you didn't get any information if, if you had a good night, if it was a um, a good recovery sleep or whatever. With first beat you have this, but right now you only have it on your watch because if I transfer, if I synchronize the data to um, to the app, it's um, not in the app then. It's, it's only the old view you have on the app. So if we have a look at the app here and let me see if I get it a little bit more clear here. So if I go to sleep, you can see that the time is the same, eight hours and 47 minutes. And the split up is the same. And the, the graph is the same, but that's all the information you have right now in the app. So I really do hope if Garmin rolls out the, the public version of this, um, yeah, of this new feature, 
that you will get much more information in the in the app so that you that you can compare the different nights and that you have the different scores and everything which I do not have at the moment right now if I go to seven days um, I only have this yeah it doesn't tell me a lot it only tells me I was asleep for so and so long but it doesn't give me any you know any analyzes of my sleep so I really do hope this changes because I know a lot of other um, companies like Polar or Huawei or something like that, Fitbit, they have a much more precise uh, analyzed sleep uh, breakdown. So I hope this will come to this app too. You have it kind of in your, um, on the watch now, but you can only see the current day you cannot go back so right now I know I have a score of 85 and I wish to have this information in the app too so that I can compare it and that I could check okay how was my sleep how is my body battery uh, do I feel this way really too that it was a recovery sleep and stuff like that um, and then I can um, you know then I can decide which kind of training I'm going to do if I'm going to have a hard training like a hard interval training or a very long run or something like that and um, these all, you know, these all goes together like like this. So if you listen to your body, if you and you and you you um, yeah, you kind of level your training with your the way your body has recovered or you the way you feel. I think you get a much more um, efficient training there. So look forward to the new firmware version. I hope it, it's going to be rolled out for the public pretty soon if you want to have it earlier and the sleep widget on your watch earlier you just um, yeah have to install it yourself on the Garmin side there is a, um, a walkthrough how you do it and how you put it in the different folders it's not it's not hard I can do it so you can do it too and then you have the widget already on your watch um, with a new firmware, there are a few different little tweaks too, like uh, with Spotify is improved and and the weather widget is improved and lots of little things are improved. But the big thing is the sleep widget now on the Garmin watch and I really do like this widget to have this data on my watch too now. So, looking forward to the new update of the firmware for everybody. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I see you next time. Bye-bye.